The MRN Diagnostics and Management Workshop was held in uh, Nairobi, Kenya, uh, May 12th uh, to 14th in the year 2015. And this conference was co-organized by CIMIT and AGRA, uh, CIMIT, the International Center for Maize and Wheat Improvement, and AGRA, the Alliance for Green Revolution in Africa, and supported by CARO, the Kenyan Agricultural Research Organization, and then overall it was funded by the uh, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation together with the USAID uh, and also some other donors uh, contributed. So the, the, the workshop attracted about 160 people that came from many countries, both in Eastern as well as uh, Western uh, Africa. Maize, we know that it is a backbone of Africa's food security. It occupies about 34 million hectares of, um, of sub-Saharan Africa's out of 194 million hectares of cultivated land, and it is produced under diverse climatic and socioeconomic conditions. And we have an estimated 208 million people in sub-Saharan Africa who depend on maize as a source of food security and for their economic well-being. Latest findings indicate that if the MLN goes unchecked, it could spread to more countries in sub-Saharan Africa. Already, we know that it is devastating maize crops in Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, DR Congo, South Sudan, and Ethiopia. The problem that we're dealing with is uh, of great concern to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, to USAID, to Syngenta Foundation, other donors who have invested heavily in uh, 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 maize research in the region uh, to develop um, hybrids and varieties that are uh, adapted to the uh, conditions, circumstances, and needs of African farmers. MLN is a complex challenge. Uh, the disease, as you many people know now, uh, is a combination of uh, infection due to uh, two major viruses. One is the maize chlorotic mortal virus and sugarcane mosaic virus. To deal with this complex challenge, uh, uh, there cannot be efforts that are put in by a few institutions. Uh, CIMIT has a role to play, uh, CALRO has a role to play, IATA has a role to play, but along with this, we need multi-institutional efforts and uh, multidisciplinary synergies for effectively tackling MLN. Uh, what CIMIT is doing uh, through this conference along with AGRA is to discuss all these important uh, range of topics uh, that are uh, need to be implemented on a uh, intensive drive in the coming months uh, so that MLN management uh, uh, is very effectively done by partners and by farmers and stakeholders uh, within uh, Sub-Saharan Africa. After discussing in the workshop and coming up with a number of things, we needed to visit real uh, situation where, uh, where we can be able to see the MNN. So a trip was organized to the Naivasha uh, where CIMIT and Caro, together with others, have set up a screening facility. This facility tests jampracin from the national research systems. It also tests from the uh, private sector. So the people nominate the materials, they come to this location, and then they are tested. And the people really wanted to see what it is that has been done here. We have looked at uh, one demonstration plot uh, where we have uh, hybrids that have come from the various uh, uh, sources and also inbred lines. And the, uh, so that was uh, the whole idea of coming here. We will be successful. My proposition this morning to everyone is that we not feel defeated in the face of this uh, admittedly uh, challenging threat, but that we take a real can-do approach. Put on our thinking caps, roll up our sleeves, come up with practical measures, and then continue the links that we establish at this meeting to follow up, to consult, and develop a 
concerted force for controlling, defeating maize leaf necrosis, starting with this gather. One simple message to the farmer friends is there is plenty of hope. Uh, amidst the despair, amidst uh, uh, the devastation caused by MLN in East Africa, uh, our simple message to the farming community is there is a lot of hope. Maize is such a wonderful crop. Uh, there is plenty of genetic variability in maize and institutions like CIMIT along with other partner institutions are very intensively engaged uh, right now uh, in developing MLN tolerant maize hybrids and varieties that can be scaled up and given to the farming communities. So uh, there is a lot of support that is also coming in uh, from uh, institutions that are based in US and in other countries and from public sector as well as from the private sector and uh, I strongly feel that together uh, we can make a difference and uh, we can effectively tackle this complex challenge uh, in the coming years. So hope, hope and hope, uh, that's what my simplest message to the farming communities is.